Hello everyone. Greetings of the day. I am Professor Devashri Gargil from Department of Management Studies of Changu Kana Thakur Arts Science and Commerce College, New Panvel. I would like to present here the topic on human resource management. So the first question is why I am introducing the human resource management. The thing is, as all of us we have taken BMS. In first year we have all the subjects, but in second year we have all the specializations. Uh, the specializations are finance, human resource management, and the marketing is the another specialization. It is necessary to give the information, and we should know what are the basics of the human resource management. So that is why, for giving you the introduction about the human resource management, I have selected this topic. Moving to the next slide, the unit one. Let us understand first of all what is human resource management. Human resource management is the function performed. in organizations that facilitates the most effective use of people to achieve organizational and individual goals that is what human resource management is so human resource management basically plays a very important role into the organization because human resources are considered as an asset of the organization moving to the next slide the definitions of human resource management are as follows human resource or manpower management effectively describes the process of planning and directing the application development and utilization of human resource management or human resources in employment this is the definition which is given by dale yoder the personal function is concerned with the procurement development compensation integration and maintenance of the personnel of an organization for the purpose of contributing towards the accomplishment of that organization's major goals or objectives this is the another definition which is given by flippo now let us understand what are the functions of hr number 1 is managerial functions number 2 is operative functions under the managerial functions following are the functions which comes under the hr planning organizing directing and controlling now what are the functions which comes under the operative functions procurement development compensation which is the major function of hr because compensation it is necessary to pay the compensation regularly to the employees into the organization so this is the one of the most important functions of hr integration and last is maintenance moving to the next slide now let us understand what are the uh, functions of hr in in detail number 1 that is a procurement so under the procurement job analysis human resource planning recruitment selection placement induction and orientation and the internal mobility these are the basic functions of hr now let us understand what are the uh, functions under the development heading training it is necessary to improve the skills of an employee those who are working into the organization so the first important function under the development is training second is executive development third is career planning and development fourth is succession planning succession planning is nothing but putting of the hats which is the another important uh, function of the hrm and last is nothing but the human resource development because development is necessary for improving the effectiveness of human resource employees into the organization moving to the next slide now let us understand what comes under the motivation and compensation motivation encouraging inspiring the employees into the organization now what comes into the motivation and compensation number 1 is job design work scheduling it is necessary to give day to day schedules to the human resources those who are working into the organization third is motivation next is job evaluation performance appraisal now what is performance appraisal performance appraisal is nothing but evaluation or effectiveness of an evaluation of the performance of the employees into the organization that is what performance appraisal is compensation administration and last but not least is incentives and benefits what is incentive extra money other than salary which is given to the employees into the organization another part into the maintenance comes health safety employee welfare and last is social security measures so these are the major functions of hr moving to the next part that is the integration function of hr grievance redress solving the complaints of human resources or uh, those who are working into the organization basically what is hrm is 
giving the right place at the right time to the employees into the organization so it is necessary to solve the complaints of an employees into the organization from the from time to time so number one is grievance redressal second is discipline teams and teamwork collective bargaining which comes under the industrial relations employee participation and empowerment empowerment is nothing more motivation inspiration encouragement which is given to the employees into the organization next is trade unions and last but not least is employers association now let us understand what is the importance of hrm hrm plays very important role into the organization so first of all uh, hrm is required to identify correctly the manpower needs it ensures that the organization does not suffer from uh, either surplus or shortage of manpower it facilitates the selection of uh, right men for the right job another important part is it focuses on the attention of the development of the skills of an individual into the organization or to make them up to date it recognizes the needs for the appraisal of the employees performance now what is appraisal that i have already told appraisal is nothing but evaluation of the performance of the employees into the organization so that has to be done into the organization so it considers the need to provide the incentives to the employees performing well because incentives extra money other than salary that has to be given to motivate the employees into the organization so this is another importance of hrm moving to the next part we are continuing the same what is the importance of hrm the part is it is uh, necessary to check favorable employees attitude employees as i said they are considered as an asset of the organization so positivity matters a lot so employee satisfaction is the another important and major aspect into the human resource management it emphasizes the need for good human relations in every workplace and it provides the scope for collective bargaining next slide let us understand what are the objectives of human resource management the first objective is the basic objective optimum utilization of human resources into the organization second how many human resources are required into the organization the number of staff is required into the organization so that has to be done which is the major aspect of hrm which is nothing but hrp that is hr planning to establish and maintain sound organization structure the organization structure has to be very sound so this is the another objective of hrm to reconcile personal and organizational goals so what are the organizational goals the most important part into the organization because what we are doing is for achieving the organizational goals organization's objective now two as there are two aspects in hrm basically one is personal management and another one is human resource management so always there is a confusion in between personal management and human resource management so let us understand the difference in between the two let me clear you one thing that personal management and human resource management these are the two separate branches now personal management is a traditional approach of managing the people in the organization whereas hrm is a modern approach for managing the people into the organization if you can see the personal management focuses on personal administration employee welfare so it's more about related to labor labor retention maintaining the labor into the organization whereas human resource management focuses on acquisition development motivation maintenance of human resources into the organization so you can see the personal management is more, more or less moving towards uh, the maintenance of blue collar employees whereas the human resource management is moving towards the maintenance of the white collar employees personal management assumes people as a input for achieving the desired output whereas human resource management assumes people as an important and valuable resource for achieving the desired output so that is why the human resource management has a wide scope continuing the same personal management uh, is all about is a personal function undertaken for employee satisfaction whereas hrm is more or, is more about administrative function for achievement of goals so it is done on the basis of division of labor i'm talking about the personal management whereas under the human resource management the job design function is done on the basis of group work or team work in the case of personal management employees are provided less training or less development opportunities 
whereas in the case of HRM you can see the more training and development opportunities are given to the employees. Continuing the same, personnel management is all about the decisions in, in which the decisions are taken by uh, the top level management whereas in the case of human resource management the collective decisions are taken, employees participation is important, decentralization and competitive environment is there. In the case of personnel management more focus is there on increased production and satisfied employees whereas in HRM so it focuses on effectiveness, culture, productivity and employees participation. This is the nature and scope of HRM. You can see four perspectives are there, control, acquisition, maintenance and development in the case of in under the control, HR audit, HR accounting, HR information system, under the acquisition, HR planning, recruitment, selection and placement. Under the maintenance, remuneration, motivation, health and safety, social security, industrial relations and performance appraisal, in the development, training, career, development, organization, uh, organizational development and uh, internal mobility. This is the environment of HRM. There are two types of environments. Number one is internal environment, external environment. When we are talking about environment, when we are talking about human resource management, these two types of environments affects a lot. So that is why it is necessary to understand what are the internal environment and what are the external environment factors. Internal environment consists of three. Number one, unions. Number two, organizational culture and conflict. Number three, professional body. So these are the forces uh, internal to an organization and internal forces have profound influence on the HR function. Moving to the next slide, the next is external environment. External environment includes the forces like economic, political, technological, demographic. So they ex exert the considerable influence on the H HRM. So these are the external environmental factors, economic, political, technological and demographic. Moving to the next part, which is the uh, new and innovative part of HRM, which is nothing but strategic HRM, strategic human resource management. So it is necessary to ensure whether the human resource management is fully integrated into strategic planning that HRM policies cohere both across the policy areas, across hierarchies and that HRM policies are accepted and used by line managers as a part of their everyday work. So according to Donald Harvey, strategic management is that set of managerial decisions and actions that determine the long term performance of uh, corporations. So it includes the environmental screening, strategy formulation, strategy implementation and evaluation and control. So this is the Indian scenario of people management. In 50s, there was a strong belief that employees were required not to question why but only to do and die. In the 60s, the terms like manpower, staff, personnel, human resources to be used and instead of controlling the employees, the more focus is given on the development of employees into the organization. So this is the current Indian scenario. So basically, this is the human resource planning, human resource planning, how many human resources are required into the organization, when they are required, how they are required. So this is all about the human resource planning. So basically, human resource planning includes the estimation of how many qualified employees, how many qualified people are required into the organization to perform the assigned activities, how many people will be able to achieve the desired goal or desired objective of the organization. This is, these are the two definitions of HRP which are given by the great authors. Objectives of HRP, adequate supply of manpower, then ensures the proper use of human resources into the organization the proper use of human resources into the organization, available use of human resources into the organization, controlling the human resources into the organization and understanding the need of technology. HRP process. Now what is the process of HRP? Analyzing organizational plans and objectives, analyzing objectives of the human resource planning, forecasting the demand for the human resources, forecasting the supply of human resources, matching the demand and supply and monitoring the control. Following are the advantages, time saving, accurate information as well as decision support system and establishes the strong manpower control. So this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you so much.